First came the fear, then the fallout. Kia and Hyundai auto theft victims are sharing their stories tonight. Many say it took them weeks, even months, to move on from the crime that's become all too common. Jenna Sachs with tonight's Contact 6 report. It's an epidemic. Kia and Hyundai vehicles broken into, ransacked, taken for joy rides across the city and beyond. Fun out, fun out. Sometimes with disastrous outcomes. Crash, 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 we need medical. The thefts are captured by home cameras and at gas stations. Cell phone videos like these are posted to social media. And suspects arrested are as young as 12 years old. Oh! I look at the spot to that new I parked at and I see glass on the ground. Colin Sims Kia was taken right outside his window in the third ward. Came back and our car was gone. Trish Bergen of Sheboygan left a Bucks playoff game to find her car was gone. Who do we call? What do we do? So just how bad is the problem? Auto thefts in Milwaukee are up 172%. This year, nearly 5,700 Kias and Hyundais have been stolen. It's happening all over the city, and I, I, I know some suburban areas have also been uh, targeted. Milwaukee police numbers show Hyundai thefts are up 1,700% over this time last year. Kia thefts up nearly 3,200%. Through our investigation, it revealed that they were just able to take them easily. A class action lawsuit filed by a Milwaukee firm against the two auto manufacturers claims the vehicles have subpar security measures, thereby making them incredibly easy to steal. Kia told Contact 6 their vehicles meet federal regulations and requirements. Hyundai says they've been directly supporting the MPD's distribution of anti-theft steering wheel locks. MPD has handed out more than 2,000 steering wheel clubs, but that's not always enough. I look out the window, I see it's gone. I'm like, oh no, my car has been taken. Contact 6 asked our viewers to share their stories. More than 20 responded, some sending pictures of their damage. Their vehicles were taken from the beach, from driveways, and outside offices. The Milwaukee Police Department is calling us. They have your car. They took it for a joyride, and then they left it. Cars were stolen in broad daylight, sometimes taken twice, even with the club on. One victim writes her car was stolen from a hospital parking garage while I worked a 10-hour shift. Their cars were taken from downtown, the east side, and beyond, and many victims say the aftermath is worse than the initial shock. Victims not only paid insurance deductibles for damage, but paid for rental cars, for security enhancements, and tracking devices. Some had to buy replacement vehicles in a market where the price of used cars is through the roof. And as one victim writes, the worst part was having to wait almost three months to get my car back from the dealership because they were back ordered on parts. Well, we can't get the steering columns anymore. We don't, we've used our supply up. The owner of Riverside Automotive in Milwaukee says they've stopped repairing these stolen cars because of parts delays. Peter Bilgo says they won't risk a Kia or Hyundai sitting in their lot becoming a target. Because they would be easy enough to take again. For the thieves, it may seem like a game. The thought in my mind has been that maybe I should get rid of this vehicle. The insignia taken from Justin Russo's car may be someone's trophy now. But for the victims, even those with insurance, it can be stressful, inconvenient, and expensive. It was shock, confusion, just a whole lot of emotion. It cost me thousands of dollars. Money that, honestly, I didn't really have. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. Numbers are just crazy. Mm. Kia and Hyundai vehicles make up two-thirds of Milwaukee's total auto thefts. The two automakers have the same parent company. Milwaukee police say if you have one of these cars, get a steering wheel lock, and if you can, invest in a security system and park in an enclosed garage.